Deepak Dandi, The Path They Created. I don't think we've thought too much about climbing any ladders, but I think we've uh, always worked hard to try and take each project to another level. Uh, I think we've really tried to identify the ch- challenges of each project with clarity. Uh, try to look at how that problem can become an advantage by uh, looking at innovative solutions with creativity. Uh, then looked at how to communicate our thoughts and ideas to the large team that actually pulls off a project, which is the client, the consultants, the contractors. Um, and then really looked at collaboration, which I think is the crux to getting a project through and taking it to that other level. I'm Shimul Javeri Kadri and I started this firm 31 long years ago and uh, I'm very happy to introduce Vaishali Shankar first. Along with her is Sarika Shetty who heads yet another team. Of course, uh, the baby amongst us, <laughs> Roshni. Shir Sagar, uh, who has, <laughs> uh, who heads our interior design team, and we're doing this for India Art and Design. Thank you. I had some two, three years of experience. Uh, you know, again, just 24 when I joined, and you know, by the time I joined, which is in 2007, uh, the entire office was using uh, uh, computers, and we were. I think one of the few offices in the country that were uh, uh, using Mac and a completely different software at that. Uh, so I think for me it was synergy. I was absolutely raw, totally fresh out of college, no experience at all. And uh, I think the reason we've all kind of three of us, uh, Vaishali 21 years here, me 20 years here and uh, Roshni almost 14 years here. Uh, I think one of the major reasons is I think all our values align, uh, all our values on various aspects of life, not just architecture. Uh, so I think that's one of the reasons that uh, most of us have uh, uh, been here and we've grown, we've grown tremendously as a firm. So one of the ways in which we grew at SJK Architects was just in a deeper understanding of materials. In the early days, we loved to use color, lots of haldis and aubergines and sunlit spaces. Uh, with clean detailing. Over time, we wanted to try and make use of uh, materials that, uh, so that the color and texture of the materials themselves lent color to uh, a space. So we explored uh, exposed concrete, raw wood, lots of different metals from MS to aluminum. Um, and uh, in order to gain insights into all these materials, we worked with craftsmen, fabricators, masons, uh, understanding how these materials uh, should be used, how they are to be detailed and how they are to be protected. And all of this made us technically sound and far more confident than we were in the early days. While our practice from early on has been contextual in its brief and geography, the marks of craftedness in a contemporary voice evolved over the past two decades. Through the early 2000s, our approach towards our choice of material and detailed resolution grew from strength to strength and several other projects took our practice to a much wider and global outreach. When I joined, for me, Vaishali was the mentor. Uh, Shimul was in and out a lot. Uh, we were literally kind of holding hands each other and kind of trying to grow through these projects. Uh, and it was totally, uh, you know, you being in the deep end, even as a trainee, uh, which is not what happens right now because, you know, we are there to guard the teams. But that was a very different way that we actually grew. And I think because the circumstances were such, we grew at a much faster pace than what we would see others grow. I'm not sure I'd, um, uh, that I did anything right or would wish it on anyone. Uh, but 
I mean, I think one muddles through. Uh, I think the, the biggest support, and I say this everywhere, is that it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, and I think I was lucky enough to have a little village, which is my mother and my mother-in-law, uh, and my my two little kids were dropped off first thing in the morning. I mean, in the in the very early years when I was still breastfeeding them, etc. You know, I was in a room in the house and they were outside. Uh, so there was lots of interaction and uh, at least my daughter Sana came to every single site with me. Uh, I recall one of our first sites being a rice mill in Bada and Sana was six months old. And uh, we, the contractor built a little shed. Uh, on site, very just for for that site visit, so that I could breastfeed her. So Amsana was born in 1993, and Aman was born in 1998. And I think once Aman, you know, became a year old, uh, the, that little room in the house was had already had some eight uh, workstations. My office was his night bedroom. So it became a little too much and I started actively looking for an office space. And by 2000, we moved out to uh, a space where you know, one of the spaces we you know, occupied. Uh, the, by the time we moved out, there were, I think, eight or nine people working from home. I, I, it varied a lot in those days, actually. At, at its peak, I remember we were Three and three, six. We were seven of us at, at its peak, but uh, it ebbed and flowed. You know, it was. Uh, uh, I, I think there was uh, some very few large projects that sustain you for long periods of time. There were the, the initial phases were some interiors. We at some stage we stopped doing residential interiors totally, but. Really, we grew very organically. Um, the same clients that we did a small office interior for, for instance, uh, came back to us later for a building, which would be a house or even your know, further factories or office buildings. So that's the way we actually grew in the early stages. Um, and then I think it's been more or less after 2005 or so that uh, we have we had you know a constant fresh flow of new clients based on uh, looking at our old projects and coming back not just based on relationships the relationships still stay very strong we still continue to build for our old clients but now we find every year we're amassing uh, you know completely new uh, institutional or uh, corporate clients as well